My name is Diana Heimat and I'm Miss Echo Egypt 2022. Egypt is located in the northeastern corner of Africa. Egypt's the heartland of the Nile River Valley and Delta, and was the home of the principal civilizations of the ancient Middle East. Pharaonic Egypt bloomed for 3,000 years. Egypt, known to be one of the culturally rich and most powerful civilizations in the world. Throughout history, the Great Pyramids of Giza are the most magnificent man-made structures in history, surviving the challenge of time. Preparing for the future, Egypt's new capital is considered one of the programs and economic projects for development, a part of a bigger initiative called Egypt Vision 2030. One of the oldest tourist destinations in the world, Egypt and its collection of world-famous ancient sites and legendary national treasures have been attracting the world for centuries. From surreal waters and golden sand beaches to remarkable architecture and national therapies, Egypt increased its capacity to produce electricity by at least 15 gigawatt of electricity using very advanced and sustainable and efficient technologies. Indeed, the energy strategy aims at increasing the share of the renewable energy to reach 42% by 2035. As Miss Eco Egypt, my mission is to raise awareness about our environmental problems, to open the eyes of people. There is no way around it. We can only protect our planet through action. This effort can happen without educating ourselves and raising awareness about our environmental issues. And that includes everyone, from parents to neighbors to strangers, because the Earth is what we all have in common. everyone, my name is John Pai Vu. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Vietnam. It's my honor to be Miss Eco Vietnam 2022. I was born and grew up in Ho Chi Minh City, one of the most healthy cities in Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh City is located in the central of southeast and southwest area. It is regarded as the most densely populated city with a vital role in economic and social development for country. Besides, Ho Chi Minh City is known for many iconic destinations. Atu Cuisine Ho Chi Minh City will never fail any newcomers thanks to its diverse and complex flavors. In fact, you can taste spicy, sour, and sweet within a dish and in most of dishes there are stories behind which bring along the culture customer and their unified origins with contrasting and dreaming geographical characteristics Vietnam is considered as country with biodiversity and various climate conditions ideally Preserve the value of nature and I love it. It is my pride and joy to be the representative of Vietnam to compete for Miss Eco International 2022. It is a turning born and also the chance for me to speak my voice and love in order to build up and protect not only Vietnam's biodiversity but also the world's. I am over the moon to stand in chance of going to Egypt, the cradle of civilization of mankind. To me, Egypt is the place of many ancient architects, which remain my mystery to humankind 
along with the trip to Egypt. I am looking forward to visiting Nile River, Pride Mist, working on the sand dune, enjoying Tamiya, Umliar, and Foon Meadows. But beyond all, I would like to send her club for Nature Miss Eco International 2022. I am Trần Hoài Phương and I'm from Vietnam. Thank you for all support. Now I'm ready for discovery of Egypt. My name is Babagalu Anuel. I am 22 years old. I am currently studying law and I am very passionate about modeling. I also dedicate myself in promoting tourism in my country for I am the ambassador of a digital platform which has a mission to promote the cultural and natural heritage of Haiti. I am very excited to represent Haiti at Misiko International one of the most wonderful countries in the Caribbean region, the first black republic in the world. Once called La Perle des Antilles, Haiti is one of the greatest tourist destinations. It stands out for its magnificent natural landscapes, which hide abundant and luxuriant vegetation. We also have plenty of rivers, caves and waterfalls that amaze all natural lovers. Our beaches are the ideal places for those who dream of pleasant relaxation under the shade of palm and coconut trees. In Haiti is where one of the most spectacular structures in the world located, which is La Citadelle La Ferrière. It is the most gigantic and prestigious fortress in the Western Hemisphere. And what is even more interesting about us is that Haitians are welcoming people. We always value hospitality. Resilient and courageous are some adjectives that describe our identity regarding the daily challenges we are facing. Now, let's talk about the country I will visit, Egypt. This is Egypt. Also called the mother of the world, Egypt is a civilization that dates more than 7,000 years, which includes many tourist and historical attractions. Among them, the pyramids of Egypt and the Sphinx, which are the main splendors of this country. It has the oldest archaeological treasures, temples and women that hold the admiration of any traveler. Did you also know that Egypt is the country that has inferred of the monuments in the world? It is an incomparable mystical destination. Cairo, where Mexico and the National will be held, is the capital of Egypt and the most populous city in all of Africa. This city is animated by good music that always makes you want to dance. Generally, Egyptians love to greet each other. Their hospitality is on top and they are very proud of their country. I can't wait to experience the Egypt campaign. Can't wait to see the pyramids that have always made men fantasize. I will finally be able to touch them and take with my sister's friends the most unique photos in history. I look forward to enjoying this amazing adventure that I will remember for life. See you soon in Egypt. located on the northern coast of South America, consisting of diverse natural habitats. On the south, it is located the Canaima National Park and the tallest waterfalls in the world, Angel Falls. On the west, it is located the Andes Mountains 
and the colonial city of Mérida, where we can visit the national park Sierra Nevada, and also we could get on the largest caveway of the world. At the same time, Maracaibo, the Surya state, is my native town and is located on the western of the country. This is the place where you can find the outstanding lake Maracaibo, one of the largest in South America. As my country has beautiful places, I am aware that Egypt is a great and nice country too. Its culture and history are amazing, and I hope to share with you my experience in this wonderful place. To represent my country will be one of the greatest experiences in my life. So, that will make me a successful woman. I'm a young Venezuela woman with a lot of golf to achieve. In fact, nowadays, I've reached one of those, being Miseco Venezuela 2022. For that reason, I am engaged to protect our Mother Earth. My favorite hobbies are traveling and learning about new cultures and traditions. I honestly enjoy traveling my beautiful country, Venezuela. Marhaba. My name is Zuri Ruiz. I'm 19 years old. I'm currently studying processed food and technology. Hereby, in the future, I would like to open my own vegan-friendly restaurants, where I will be creating my own vegan products. I like to describe myself as an understanding, outgoing, and an open-minded person. I love to explore and keep creating new memories around the world. Bon Vini means welcome to my Aruba, one happy island. Nestled in the heart of the South and Caribbean, our happy island is a beautiful, sun-bathed speck on a vast azure sea. Our wonderful people are dedicated to hospitality, to making our happy island home be like your happy island escape. Beyond our beautiful alabaster coast, picture-perfect weather and crystal-clear waters teeming with aquatic life, Aruba is an island as diverse as its people. A beautiful, sustainable spectrum of dry desert, limestone coves and pictures pastel architecture ripe for exploration. Aruba constantly ranked as having the least amount of rainfall in the southern Caribbean. The calm and great winds will keep you cool in the pleasant 82-degree weather. Thanks to our location outside the hurricane belt, visitors can expect great weather throughout the year. Aruba began weeding single-use plastic out of circulation on the island in 2017 with a ban on single-use plastic bags. In November 2019, Aruba's parliament unanimously also banned sunscreen containing oxybenzone. This chemical contributes to coral bleaching, which can ultimately kill entire reef systems. Two local companies, Aruba Aloe and Aruba Life Organics, produce reef-safe, mineral-based sunscreen. The journey to becoming an eco-friendly destination really doesn't end. Even with the many green-friendly endeavors that the Aruban community and tourism industry are partaking in, Sustainability is about constantly adapting and finding new ways to take care of our environment. New ways to generate green energy, but also reducing waste. And creating legislation to protect that beautiful island of Aruba. Egypt is distinguished with its gushing Nile, Asian treasures, great history, vast deserts, warm sun and cool beaches. However, Egypt has more to offer than you might expect. The Northern African country of Egypt, officially the Arab Republic of Egypt, is the 31st largest in the world by area, at over 1 million square miles, known for its Asian monuments in the capital Cairo. The country has an incredibly vast and storied history and a an harsh but diverse climate. Egypt's Ministry of Tourism has launched an online campaign to promote the country's top travel destinations for winter 2022. Indeed, the energy strategy aims at increasing the share of the renewable energy to reach 42% by 2035. This is the moment I have been waiting for, to explore and make memories in Egypt. Araka Kariban Egypt, my name is Zuri Ruiz, Miss Eco Aruba 2022.
Hello everyone. My name is Hokuk Evan. I'm from Dark Lang. I'm very honored to be Miss Eco Vietnam 2022. I'm a girl who was born and grew up in the highland of Vietnam. My family has been living on doing the farm, so I sincerely understand the value of nature and I do love it. I feel so lucky to be the representative of Vietnam to participate in Miss Eco International 2022. This would be a milestone and also the biggest opportunity for me to share my voice and my love to contribute in protecting the natural heritage of Vietnam in particular and the world in general. It is so great to be here the cradle of the world civilization, Egypt. This is a place which is well known with cultural, special cuisine, and various of mysterious ancient architecture, which are the still open for discovering. Being at Egypt, I can't wait to visit Nila River, discovering the pyramids, stepping on the white sand of desert. Enjoying Tamiya, mm, Ali, or Fumadam. More than that, I would love to share the big love of nature to Miss Eco International 2022 pageant. Hakup Evan, I come from Vietnam and thank you for listening to my sharing. Now, I'm ready for the discovering in Egypt. The essence of America that really unites us is not ethnicity or nationality or religion. It's an idea that you can come from humble circumstances and do great things. Miss Eco USA! My name is Jesse Peralta and I'm your Miss Eco United States of America. I wear multiple hats as a model, actress, influencer, and an active volunteer member in my community. When I'm not advocating for sustainability in my country, you can find me reducing my carbon footprint by riding electric scooters or taking mass transit. My family migrated to this country from the Caribbean, and because of that sacrifice, I'm living the American dream. As a product of immigration, I was able to earn a bachelor's degree in fashion merchandising and land a full-time position as a Jewelry Product Development Associate. The United States is a melting pot full of diversity, where our population consists of people from different cultures, religions, and backgrounds. You can find people from all walks of life here. America is the leader in ecotourism. With a wide variety of climates, you can experience frigid temperatures of a snowstorm and the heat of a desert at the same time in different parts of this country, which makes this place one of the top tourist destinations. Next stop, Cairo, Egypt. I'm thrilled to be able to experience Egypt in just a few short weeks. Egypt is rich in culture, history, and natural resources. I can't wait to be surrounded by the art, try the delicious Egyptian cuisine, and meet other environmentally aware, like-minded women like myself, all vying for the title of Miss Eco International. Being able to experience such a beautiful country I once learned about in textbooks growing up in school is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I can't wait to immerse myself in this experience and take it all in. Have you ever heard about the happiest country in the world where there's no war and peace abound? Hi, my name is Su Chinchilla. I'm 25 years old and I'm the current Miss Eco International Costa Rica for 2022. I was born and raised in a small but amazing country called Costa Rica. Its high level of education and concern for environmental change 
allows me to proudly say that we are pioneers in the area of environmental protection. Our world is based on fauna and flora in a country that only has 0.03% of the Earth's surface. We also have 6.5 of the world's biodiversity between beautiful beaches, forests and a wonderful tropical climate. Due to our location, we have been a bridge of animal and plants species over the years which has made us the third most desirable country to visit in the entire world. This untransformed nature gives us, as Costa Ricans, multiple benefits day by day. It is for this reason that Costa Rica takes great pride and care in administration of the biological wealth of our country. As part of the environmental commitment that we have as a country, the Carbon Neutrality Program was launched, which offers opportunities for companies and communities to develop a proper management of their greenhouse gases in order to reduce, remove, or offset all emissions. Costa Rica seeks to enhance climate action. I cannot lie, I feel very proud to come from this ecological paradise. I also feel very excited to visit another country that, like mine, has a great ecological diversity and respect for the environment, Egypt. Unlike the species to which I am accustomed, the ecological diversity of Egypt has made a great adaptation to desert areas. Egypt lives at the foot of the Nile, the second largest river in the world, and the longest in Africa. Its great culture has developed in the valley formed by this river. Culture highlighted by its amazing architecture with monuments inspired by the existence of afterlife, such as pyramids and temples. Another particularity of their culture is Egyptian jewelry. Its symbology is relevant as a protector of fertility, a protector from diseases, a renewal life, and an invocation of blessing from some gods. The Arab Music Festival is another cultural celebration, which takes place once a year in Cairo, where you can enjoy the most outstanding national and international singers for Arab music and it is undoubtedly one of the most popular events in Egypt. This country is definitely one of the destinations with endless history and cultural activities that I'm very happy to participate in. I look forward to this incredible experience that awaits me thanks to Miss Eco International. Egypt, see you there! Have you ever heard about the happiest country in the world where there is no war and peace abound? Hi, my name is Su Chinchilla. I'm 25 years old and I'm the current Miss Eco International Costa Rica for 2022. I was born and raised in a small but amazing country called Costa Rica. Its high level of education and concern for environmental change allows me to proudly say that we are pioneers in the area of environmental protection. Our world is based on fauna and flora in a country that only has 0.03% of the Earth's surface. We also have 6.5 of the world's biodiversity between beautiful beaches, forests, and a wonderful tropical climate. Due to our location, we have been a bridge of animal and plant species over the years, which has made us the third most desirable country to visit in the entire world. This untransformed nature gives us as Costa Ricans multiple benefits day by day. It is for this reason that Costa Rica 
takes great pride and care in administration of the biological wealth of our country. As part of the environmental commitment that we have as a country, the Carbon Neutrality Program was launched, which offers opportunities for companies and communities to develop a proper management of their greenhouse gases in order to reduce, remove, or offset all emissions. Costa Rica seeks to enhance climate action. I cannot lie, I feel very proud to come from this ecological paradise. I also feel very excited to visit another country that, like mine, has a great ecological diversity and respect for the environment, Egypt. Unlike the species to which I am accustomed, the ecological diversity of Egypt has made a great adaptation to desert areas. Egypt lives at the foot of the Nile, the second largest river in the world, and the longest in Africa. Its great culture has developed in the valley formed by this river. Culture highlighted by its amazing architecture with monuments inspired by the existence of afterlife, such as pyramids and temples. Another particularity of their culture is Egyptian jewelry. Its symbology is relevant as a protector of fertility, a protector from diseases, a renewal life, and an invocation of blessing from some gods. The Arab Music Festival is another cultural celebration, which takes place once a year in Cairo, where you can enjoy the most outstanding national and international singers for Arab music and it is undoubtedly one of the most popular events in Egypt. This country is definitely one of the destinations with endless history and cultural activities that I'm very happy to participate in. I look forward to this incredible experience that awaits me thanks to Miss Eco International. Egypt, see you there! Earth is our home the only planet known to us in the entire universe. Capable of having an environment to sustain life and biodiversity, that's how we have come to evolve and live on this beautiful earth we call our home. I am from the Himalayas, where culture meets diversity, where we are blessed with eight of the tallest mountains in the world, with Mount Everest being the highest. I come from the birthplace of Gautam Buddha, where different religions coexist in harmony. I belong to a country where natural beauty is our biggest strength and where we house habitats for several diverse species of flora and fauna and a place of many UNESCO World Heritage Sites. I am from a country where we believe in never-ending peace and love. I am from Nepal. Namaste and Salaam Alaikum. My name is Sophia Pujer. An entrepreneur, model, a firm believer of the universe, and an advocate of women's rights. I'm very humbled to introduce myself as Miss Equal International Nepal 2022. And honored to represent my country Nepal in this beautiful nation of Egypt. A developing country and a cradle of civilization. Egypt has a rich cultural heritage and iconic monuments. Egyptians built the tallest man-made structure and the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is among the seven wonders of the world. The longest river in the planet, Nile, runs through Egypt. The desert, mysterious temples and large cities. One will see that Egypt is truly a land of contrast, which has something for every traveler, no matter where they go. The diverse contemporary dance and songs bring out the true culture of Egypt that is not only a tourist attraction but also creates an identity of its own. A country of such heritage and history not only mesmerizes me with its sheer beauty and colossal size but also inspires me to contribute to my country to promote our tourism as well. We all need to take care of our home and follow environment-friendly measures to promote eco-tourism we all need to understand the importance of balance 
in nature and environment and do our part to protect it at all costs because there is no second earth. It is my personal mission as Miss Eco International to promote ecotourism and promote environmental awareness. My journey starts now. Olá, sou Cristina Carvalho, Miss Eco Portugal. Tenho 27 anos e nasci na Ilha do Faial. Tive o grande privilégio de crescer no campo e ter uma família que sempre viveu do que a terra e o mar davam. Talvez por isso, tenha este respeito tão grande por tudo o que a Mãe Natureza é capaz de nos proporcionar. Ser Miss Eco não se trata apenas da realização de um sonho, mas é também a projeção de tudo o que sou e para o qual sinto que me preparei ao longo de toda a minha vida. Participar no Miss Eco Internacional a representar Portugal é ter a grande oportunidade e orgulho de levar comigo a nossa história, as tradições, a cultura, a gastronomia, as pessoas e a beleza das paisagens que nos cercam e que nos tornam tão únicos. Ser açoriano é estar rodeado diariamente por uma biodiversidade de fauna e flora indescritíveis e ter a consciência da importância que existe em preservar e conservar toda esta natureza no seu estado mais puro. Os Açores são considerados um dos destinos turísticos mais sustentáveis do mundo e um dos melhores destinos para a observação de cetáceos. Just like my archipelago, Egypt is also distinguished by all the landscape and symbology that surround it. I can't wait to finally be able to contemplate the majesty of the pyramids and temples, some of them UNESCO World Heritage the beauty of the Nile River and the entire story of Egyptian civilization. See you soon, Egypt! Hello everyone, my name is Anna Bykova. I will be representing Siberia to Miss Eco International 2022 in Egypt. I graduated from Bashka State University majoring in law and I am getting a master's degree from the Russian University of Transport. A healthy lifestyle is an essential part of my life, as well as volunteering in environmental organizations. I am also actively engaged in public activities, and I am proud to be a winner of beauty contests. My home region, Siberia, is an endless tiger with conferous forests, clean rivers, high mountains, diverse flora and fauna. The main wealth of Siberia is laid by cow, the deepest on the planet. In order to preserve this natural wealth, they conduct environmental actions aimed at collecting and processing secondary raw materials. And I run the points of reception and motivate other people to do it. Every year millions of tourists come to Egypt. Its favorable climate and beautiful sea scenery have turned the country in the world-class resort. White stone structures and exotic plants set special atmosphere there. It's a great honor for me to represent Siberia in such a large scale event in Egypt. If I am the lucky one to be crowned as Miss Eco International 2022, I will attract the attention of the world community to environmental problems, protect the nature, popularize environmental education and stimulate the development of the green economy of countries. After all, only together we can save our planet for future generations. I am Anna Bykova, Miss Eco Siberia 2022. See you in Egypt. Hello everyone, my name is Gloria Hirex and I am Miss Eco Belgium 2022. I am 22 years old and I was born and raised in Limburg in Belgium. I am raised on the farm of my dad and because of this I have a big heart for animals. My ultimate dream is to open a foster care to provide animals the health care they need and the loving home they deserve. <laughs> At the moment, I am working in a pharmacy and as a model. Working in the pharmacy is a great way to be a part of the medical field and to help other people. 
Nothing is more important than our health and providing healthcare is what makes a stronger and more powerful society. I also have a big passion for fashion since I was little. Sadly, the fashion industry changed a lot over the years and not in a positive way. Fast fashion became the new go-to, which is sad, because this entails exploding workers in inhuman conditions, since fabrics gave the ability to make more clothing in a less period of time, with cheaper materials such as synthetic, clothing became cheaper to purchase and the quality of clothing became less. This created a rise in popularity which caused fast fashion to impact the environment and planet. In Belgium, when clothes are thrown away, it ends up here, in a textile factory. Here, all clothes are getting checked, sorted and recycled to give it a second life. In this way, clothing is not getting wasted, but it will be recycled and reused. Today, I am volunteering in one of the textile factories in Belgium to help sort out the clothes. It makes me truly happy that these treasures will be getting reused and I hope for the future that our society will value clothes more. Look what I found! It's still so pretty! I don't know why people would throw this away, because I would still wear it. I hope our society will value these clothes more. I am proud to be a Belgian. Belgium is a kingdom in Western Europe with 11.5 million inhabitants. Brussels, the federal capital of Belgium, which is known for its squares, monuments and beautiful museums. I love Belgium because it's a modern country where people with different cultures and religions live next to each other and respect each other. In March, I am going to visit Egypt. Egypt is a country which, in my opinion, everyone should visit at least once in his life, since Egypt represents one of the oldest civilizations in the world. I can't wait to visit the pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx, the beautiful deserts and oases, famous temple of Karnak, temple of Luxor and temple of Hatshepsut in Luxor. I want to thank everyone who already supported me during my Miss Eco journey and I can't wait to meet everyone in Egypt. See you soon! Hello, my name is Daina Itagaki, Miss Eco International Japan 2022. Japan is a land of rising sun, surrounded by the ocean in East Asia. Throughout my countries, inland and terrains are mountains full of remarkable events consisting of its memorizing history and culture. The nation maintains its connection to nature through its temples, arts, traditions, festivals, and the now world-renowned exotic cuisine and the contemporary art of manga. The country only opened its door to trade in the mid-19th century and then absorbed falling influence rapidly. Yet there remains a traditional spirit in all aspects of life. Japan is known for serving traditions in Japan, we call it omotenashi. It is also home to much diverse wildlife. Indeed, a place where many important elements in the world await to be discovered. Such a place is full of wonder. Japan, I am proud to call home. As the Miss Eco International Japan 2022, I'll bring and present Japan to Egypt. Egypt is a country with a much older history that shaped forms in the now modern world. I am honored as a Japanese queen to grace such magnificent land of king and queen, mystic Egypt. As the Miss Eco International Japan 2022, in such immensely alluring Egypt, I am advocate to protect our Mother Earth to ensure the preservation of both world and the rest of many wonders to sustainably evolve and thrill for the next many more generations to come. My organization, Miss Eco Japan, will cultivate and raise sustainable tourism where we all travel with the least negative impact on our society and environment. To keep our environment protected, 
and in harmony with traditions and cultures of every land shall pave the way to sustainable ecotourism around the world. I am looking forward to seeing you all in Egypt soon. Thank you. I am here today to answer one very important question. Is the sky the limit? Good day to the world at large and the Miss Eco International Organization. Before you is a 21-year-old student pilot wishing to change the world one good deed at a time. Before I started my aviation training, one thing that stuck with me were the nerves. So it's no surprise the very first time I was instructed to do the takeoff, it wasn't the perfect ascent. However, while I was up there, something I noticed was just how small and insignificant everything looked. So I ask again, is the sky the limit? In my case, I would have never made it to the sky if I hadn't dropped my groundly worries. This year, in March 2022, I look forward to competing in the Miss Eco International pageant, bringing my part of Africa to another part of Africa and bringing Africa to the world. Thank you, I am Zipositebe. From a land of many contradictions, where winters are full of sunshine and summers are marked by heavy cold rain. The land of many languages, South Africa, greeting the northeastern tip of Africa, Egypt. The land of pharaohs and a thousand suns. They say your dreams don't have to be high, they just have to be lived. Here I am, living my dream, preparing to visit Egypt as a Miss Eco International candidate. My journey will begin in Cairo, the capital of Egypt, the gateway to the Nile Delta, where the lower Nile separates into the Rosetta and Demeter branches, home to the oldest museum in Africa, the Egyptian Museum, an ancient city of great pyramids and the world-famous Sphinx. From Cairo, we travel to Luxor, a city on the east bank of the Nile River, a city whose history is as old as time itself, a city with monuments that give us a glimpse into ancient civilizations. The graceful Luxor Temple and the majestic Karnak Temple. My journey is proof that dreams come in a size too big so that we can grow into them. I've always dreamt of Egypt and I thought my dream was too big, but I have grown into it. This is my dream. This is Egypt. My name is Matilda Virtavuori. I'm 21 years old and I am Miss Eco International Finland 2022. My favorite quote from the Disney Cinderella movie states, have courage and be kind, which are words I always aim to live by. I believe in kindness and empathy towards others and self, and believe those to be the key to a happier life and a happier planet. I also believe courage is what will create success not only career-wise, but also personally. My personal struggles have taught me to keep going even if it seems scary, and that has helped me get me where I am today. Finland is known for high-quality, free education, which I've had the privilege to experience. I finished high school with an international degree, and I'm currently studying business and leadership at the University of Tampere. I believe it's a gift that we can always learn, know more, and develop as humans. Another way I've developed myself is through arts. I started dancing when I was 8 years old, after which I've competed on an international level and performed in various events. I've been modeling for almost 3 years, starting from zero and learning the posing and walking on my own. People around me also say my life is a constant musical, as I find and sing a song in every situation. I find music to be the easiest way to express my emotions and moods. Another way to process my emotions is in the Finnish nature. Finland is a country of thousands of lakes, with over 75% of the land covered in forests that provide multiple ways to relax, find peace or partake in some extreme sports like ice swimming. I also like to go cross-country skiing or hiking in the snowy forests. These extreme sports are executed with the help of Sisu, the Finnish stamina. Having gone through almost 15 years of education, I'm aware of the various effects of climate change and global warming. 
everyone has a chance and a responsibility in slowing the process, but everyone should also choose their own means that are realistic to execute. In Finland, the culture of second-hand consuming and thrifting has truly grown, with new generations being more mindful of their consuming habits. For me, this is a realistic and fun way to reduce my carbon footprint and reduce landfill. Coming from such a peaceful country, I'm excited to travel south and experience Egypt at Miss Eco International. Egypt has one of the most interesting and complex histories in the world and is known for exotic nature, delicious food and colorful culture. Thus I look forward to traveling to the ancient capital Luxor to see the temples, monuments, tombs and the river Nile. I also cannot wait to meet my fellow eco-sisters, whom I know to be few of the most kind, beautiful and driven women in the world. In addition to myself, I intend to make my country proud. See you at Miss Eco International. <laughs>